Welcome to a special episode of AI Practitioner Exam Bytes. I've got some exciting news to share. I sat for the AWS Certified AI Practitioner Exam last week and I passed. I mean, it'd be a little bit concerning if I didn't, right? <laughs> Now, first off, I want to encourage all of you who've been following this series to book your exam now. Yes, right now, don't wait. The exam is challenging, but it's absolutely doable with the right preparation. And by watching this video series, you're taking the first steps in the right direction. Now, I also want to share some of my key takeaways from the exam experience. First, you must remember this is a beta exam. Now, what does that mean? Well, before the standard version of the exam is launched, it goes through a beta stage, which is what's happening now. This is used to validate performance of the exam and its questions. So you're probably now wondering, well, how does that affect you? Well, the biggest thing is beta exams include more total questions and more scored questions than the standard version of the exam. To give you an example, the AI Practitioner beta exam has 85 questions in total and the number of scored questions is not stated. This is in contrast to the standard exam, which has 65 questions in total, of which 50 are scored. The remaining 15 questions are what we call candidate questions, which AWS are evaluating for inclusion in possible future exams. That said, it's kind of a moot point about the scored, unscored questions as they're not identified on the exam anyway. So you need to assume that all of the questions are scored and be diligent and deliberate in your answers to every single question. So the next thing you might be wondering is, should you wait for the standard exam or do the beta? If you're ready, then definitely do the beta. The cost is lower than doing the standard exam and you also get exposure to more questions. Additionally, unlike other AWS beta exams in the past, where you had to wait until the beta period was over to get your result, for this exam, you will get your result within five business days of taking the exam. Although usually you get it within 24 hours, which is what happened with me. Plus, you don't just get one certification badge, you get two, reflecting that you are an early adopter of this certification. Now, in terms of time, you have 120 minutes to complete the 85 questions. I personally finished the exam with plenty of time to spare, but bearing in mind that I have a lot of background knowledge and also hold the more advanced AWS machine learning specialty certification. But what I'm getting at here is make sure that you're aware of your time management during the exam, but also don't go in stressed and feeling like you need to rush through it. Take your time, take every question one by one, but just don't dawdle. I would also strongly encourage you to use the resources on AWS Skill Builder to refresh your knowledge and also complete the practice exam. I've put a link to these resources in the description of this video. Just be aware that these are part of a paid Skill Builder subscription, but it's well worth it, along with all the other resources you get access to as part of a paid subscription, such as hands-on labs. Now, just to finish off a few other tips and tricks. The exam is not just about memorizing facts. You need to understand how to apply AI concepts in real world situations and scenarios, which is why the review questions on these videos are often scenario based to give you that kind of practice. Also, don't underestimate the importance of understanding AWS services related to AI and ML. I mean, after all, this is an AWS exam. So make sure you're basically familiar with services like Amazon SageMaker, Amazon Bedrock, and other AWS AI services to ensure that you know what they do and when they're most appropriately used. And remember, this certification is a great way to validate your AI knowledge and also potentially boost your career prospects. Whether you're just starting in the field or looking to formalize your existing knowledge, the AWS Certified AI Practitioner Exam is an excellent stepping stone. So what are you waiting for? Take the plunge, book your exam. The best way to keep on track with your preparation is to have a date in mind that you're aiming for. And the best way to have that date in mind and aim for it is to book in your exam. Thanks for tuning into this special episode and keep watching our AI Practitioner Exam Bites for more detailed insights on each exam objective. Good luck with your exam preparation and I'll see you in the next video.